All right. I know it's been a few minutes. I've been super busy. The time you guys are going to see this, I'll only be a couple days away from actually getting moved now that everything is finally in place. Do have some videos to come out in the meantime while I get the move done, get everything taken care of. Hopefully there won't be any more lapses like this past five, six weeks, whatever it's been. This is the Magna Cut Deca, the Smoky Mountain Knifeworks version. Came out, I believe, right before the polymer handled Magna Cut ones hit everywhere. Can't say if there's any difference in them. I'm going to guess they're running them all the same no matter what. I believe they're specking 61 to 63 for a hardness. And I did go, get, go ahead and get a hardness on this one. And I'll talk about that after we cover the results. Did the factory edge, the first edge, the third and the fourth edge. To give you guys a good idea of what to expect from this. So we'll go ahead and get through that cutting real quick. And come back and get to all the important stuff. All right, now that we saw that cutting, go ahead real quick and cover the sharpening before I jump right into it. And one thing to note, now that this is one of nine different examples of Magna Cut that I have, and even though you guys haven't seen them all, I do have two more coming. I've already sharpened them, tested them, everything like that. With the exception of one, I haven't had any problems really deburring Magna Cut yet, be it production or custom stuff. So that's one thing I can say about it. Pretty easy to deburr so far. No issues with it really to speak of. This did come almost at 15 degrees per side. I know that is not like a lot of the other decas that I've tested. My own deco was somewhere around 17 degrees per side or so. But this came exactly like this. You can see though there by the tip the grinds is a little does get a little thinner out there at the tip. But 15 degrees per side just about for the factory and first edge. After that, for the third and fourth test, I did adjust it. Overall, though, we're talking somewhere in the neighborhood of 31 inclusive for the factory and first test versus 30 inclusive for the other two tests. So on the factory as delivered edge, this cut 111 feet total. I'd have to go back and look, but so far I haven't had any stainless do really, really well on the factory edge, no matter what particular steel it happened to be. So no surprise that this did 111 feet. Then I went ahead and sharpened it, matched the factory angle, which like I mentioned just a minute ago was approximately 15 and a half degrees per side. Ran the test again. And that was 130 feet. So not a big jump from the factory edge to the first edge. Sharpened the second edge. 
used it for a couple hours during the day while I was packing stuff up and things. Then I went ahead and cut the edge off, sharpened it again, ran the third test, then ran the fourth test. On the third edge, which was my first test, the actual test of the knife, 151 feet fine edge. So already three edges in, is quite a big jump from the 130 feet on the first sharpening. 108 feet working edge for a total of 259 feet. Sharpened it again ran my verification, which is the fourth edge. And on that test, 156 feet fine edge, 104 feet working edge for a total of 261 feet. Didn't know what to expect with this. I would have to go back and look. I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head where that falls in with the Spyderco Mule in Magna Cut. And like I did mention in the beginning, I did get a hardness on this. You're not going to be able to see it. It's all in here. There is not much space between where the washer is and the coating isn't. But I was able to get a five test average of 61.9. So we'll call this 62. For a hardness, which is pretty much identical to what the Spyderco Mule did. And I'm going to go ahead and pause you guys for a second. I'm going to look and see what that Mule did. So can see how it actually compared production 62 hardness Magna Cut on two different manufacturers. Okay, so I went ahead and wrote those numbers down real quick so we can talk about it. So both being 62 RC Magna Cut from production companies, one from Hogue, one from Spyderco, they're actually really, really close. So 259 feet total on the first test for this versus 272 for the first test on the Mule. And then the verification on this, 261 and the verification on the mule was 270. So we're talking around 10 feet, which it, you're, you're low single digit percent difference right there. Now, this might not be what everyone was hoping Magna Cut was going to be for a production steel. What it does do, though... And I'm going to do a bigger video about this, but I'll just cover this real quick. There isn't any S30V out there, S35VN, S45, and 95% of the M390 20CV either gives you, if you're lucky, what this particular Magna Cut here right did, most of the M390 and 20CV fall short of that. There aren't many that are better than this. From a consumer standpoint, in a stainless so far, it's looking like Magna Cut is going to be a win for your average knife user. Fills a great spot where anyone who's using it, as long as it continues to at least be like this DECA here and how the Spider Coast stuff was run so far, you're definitely getting a step up in performance from what you've had in the past. And the polymer version of this that was the mid to high $120 range, another knife, super high value for the performance that you get. Now that these have been out for a little while, it did take me a month or so to, to actually get this video wrapped up, edited, and up for you guys to see. I know 
bunch of different people bought them. Love to hear how they're doing for all you guys, what you actually think of Production Magna Cut. Now that some's really starting to get out there. Like I said, I'm going to do a general video about Magna Cut. And that will be after the last two examples I have after those videos drop. And I'll go ahead and give you my view of it, what I think of it, and everything like that. If you guys have anything, put it down below. That's all I have. As always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.